Yeah, I wanted to make it simple here for everyone to understand. We're going to bring up the ingredients in this deal. You've got Heinz, which was taken private by 3G and Berkshire in 2013. And then you've got Kraft, the slower growing, less exciting North America snack focused business that was split off from the more exciting Mondelez. Plus, you've got $10 billion in capital from 3G and Buffett. All that combined will become the Kraft Heinz company, a publicly traded company with an enterprise value of about $100 billion. The theoretical value in a takeover mat. What does each side uh, get in this deal? I, I know that Kraft shareholders are getting, what, 49% of the company? Yes, we're getting a little bit ahead of ourselves, but yes, uh, Buffett and 3G get a controlling 51% stake. Kraft shareholders get 49%. They get one share of the combined company for every existing Kraft share they own, plus a special dividend of $16.50 a share. That is funded by that $10 billion kicked in from Buffett and 3G. So yes, while they get a minority stake, they get the premium, that $16.50, 1650 cash payment plus they get to retain their dividend plus they get to share in the synergies which is about one and a half billion dollars annually by 2017 and maybe this one is you can't quantify the benefit of the company being owned by what many people would argue would be the two best investors of the world 3g capital and warren buffett uh, and Scar, I know you've been talking to people on the street today. What do they stand about the deal? Yeah, Ed Hammond of our M&A team had called it complex. I spoke with Sachin Shah, the merger arb strategist at Albert Freed and Company. He said this is not M&A 101. This is advanced mergers because typically when you've got a PE firm involved, it's usually to take a company private, cut costs, and then add debt, and then eventually IPO the business. What you have here instead is Buffett and 3G effectively taking Heinz public by reversing Kraft into Heinz, which which is a private company who that will then use the deal to go public and control the new company, which is why uh, it, it's interesting that the company is called Kraft Heinz. Maybe it's an appeasement to management. As for the debt, this is where uh, a lot of people are complimenting Warren Buffett and 3G for being pretty clever because Heinz is going to refinance its high yield debt with investment grade debt piggybacking off of Kraft's investment grade rating and therefore lower borrowing costs. Though we should mention that S&P said the new company would have a triple B minus rating the lowest investment grade, and it's put Kraft and Heinz on review for possible downgrade. I'm going to say Kraft wow. Heinz is a bid to appease the consumer, right? Because uh, you don't care if you buy Kraft Heinz ketchup, but you don't want to buy Heinz Kraft macaroni and cheese. Kraft is the more important. I don't know. I don't. I don't think about that necessarily. I, I suppose that's uh, is Heinz ketchup more attractive to the consumer? Well, okay, it's Kraft only it's, it's only something you have on the side, whereas Kraft is like a main course. It's the more important, I would say, name. Even though Heinz is going to run the company, mm -hmm. Heinz is going to buy the company. Eventually, they'll probably shut down Kraft headquarters. It's clearly it Heinz buying Kraft, even though we like to throw around the horrible word merger. <laughs> Scarlett, thanks so well, much. Kraft, Kraft is so attractive that they had to split it up from Mondelez, which was even more attractive with its higher growth rates. So you could argue both ways.